Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle of Inherited Wounds and Ignorance website. That website is eight self-improvement lessons based on what I've learned over 31 years as a family therapist. Lesson four is about improving relationships. Lesson seven is about building high nurturance step families. This video pertains to both these lessons and in it I want to focus on what I've learned about the heart-wrenching strife between many divorced parents. Almost half of first marriages in the United States fail. A higher percentage fail psychologically but stop short of court action. <clears throat> About 70 percent of American divorces involve at least one child. So the issue here is how can divorced parents improve their relationship for their own sakes and especially for their kids' sakes. This video offers, based on 31 years experience of working with hundreds and hundreds of troubled divorced parents, or divorcing parents, what can such adults do to improve their relationship and the quality of their lives and protect their children? The symptoms of troubled ex-mate relationships are classic. They involve ongoing or escalating fighting, borders of protection where one parent seeks uh, to avoid violent confrontations by the other parent, um, legal fights invoking lawyers and the justice system to try and force your will on your other, your ex-spouse. <clears throat> Uh, communication cutoffs where people don't speak to each other and leave kids bewildered and unsupported. Another symptom is supervised child visitations where one, the custodial parent doesn't feel that their child is safe without some neutral person observing visitation with the other parent. These are common problems of ex-mates, troubled ex-mates. Every one of them is a surface problem, it is not, underlying not, the real problem. What are the real problems? There are at least seven, all concurrent, many troubled ex-mates and supporters and litigants and mediators and parents and brothers and sisters and friends and commentators and media talking heads don't know what the real issues are. That's the purpose of this video. First and foremost, the real problem, one of the two major real problems with causing all these symptoms is that both ex-mates, I mean both, not just one, both ex-mates are survivors of traumatic childhoods in which they did not get their needs met and they grew a set of wounds, six psychological wounds. Both mates are grown wounded children. See the video that describes this, lesson one video. <clears throat> Secondly, as grown wounded children, both ex-mates are ignorant of the topics that you'll find in the Break the Cycle website. They are unaware because their ancestors and our social system did not teach them vital knowledge. Specifically, they were never taught how to problem solve. So a major real problem is both mates are grown wounded children, often they don't know it, or even if they do, they don't know what to do about it. And these GWCs, grown wounded children, are unaware. They don't know what they don't know. This causes a cluster of relationship problems. One is disrespect. One or both mates disrespects the other. They may not respect themselves. That is a symptom of the wound, psychological wound of shame. The second uh, common problem is one or both ex-mates don't trust each other, <clears throat> either in general or on certain issues around uh, money or children, child raising, parenting. 
The third fundamental issue that comes from unawareness is, as I said, ex-mates do not know how to problem solve. So what they do instead is fight, argue, lecture, blame, name call, avoid, gossip, badmouth. Um, all these are lose-lose alternatives. They don't know how to problem solve. Another problem that aggravates these that I just mentioned is, in general, there is no informed help that ex-mates can find to help them identify and resolve the, these clusters of real problems. Uh, there is a great deal of misinformation and ignorance in the media and mental health professionals in general, and I am one, are not trained in the issues that I just mentioned to you. Specifically, mental health professionals and legal professionals are not trained to spot psychological wounds and make intelligent uh, recommendations on what to do about them. <clears throat> so, the media and family members and supporters are left to focus fruitlessly on the, su the surface issues. Money, children, sometimes addictions, uh, sometimes marital affairs. Those are in everybody's cross sites and they are only symptoms of the real problem. If ex-mates do not dig underneath the surface issues and find out what the real issues are, they are at risk of passing psychological wounds on to their dependent kids, and they are at risk because many ex-mates, single divorced parents, uh, choose a new mate and form a step family. If they don't examine these issues before recommitting to a, a wonderful new partner, they are at high risk of re-divorce. Many social commentary, uh, commentators estimate American step families fail more often than first marriage families. Some people estimate as high as 60 to 70 percent legally fail or psychologically fail. That means unspecifiable heartache and stress for all adults and kids, including parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, and it weakens our society. So the stakes are high here. So what can conflicted divorcing parents by the way, I use the term divorcing, not divorced, because the emotional, psychological, legal uh, process of divorce can often take um, up to 15 or more years after people separate living together. So it's more accurate to say divorcing than divorced. What can divorcing ex-mates do to protect themselves, heal themselves, and protect their kids? There are specific things they can do. First, hang on to, maintain, and keep a long-term view. You can't fix this in a couple of weekends. It will take several years. Second, take self-responsibility for your half of the core problems. That means stop blaming your ex and start looking at yourself. Third, assess yourself for significant psychological wounds. And try to have an open mind and accept the fact that you almost certainly are a quote, grown wounded child with up to six specific psychological wounds, and if you don't do something about them, you're going to pass them on to your kids, guaranteed. Once you assess yourself, assess your ex-mate with compassion, not revenge, not sarcasm, not blame, but compassion. He or she is a wounded person just like you. Neither one of you, you 
wanted these wounds and your parents didn't mean to pass them on, but they did. Assess yourself for wounds and take responsibility for starting patiently to reduce them. That starts with free your true self to govern your personality. If it doesn't mean anything to you yet, study the videos related to lesson one in the Break the Cycle website. That will show you what this means and what to do. The second of two powerful options that divorcing parents have to protect themselves and their kids is get educated. Change unawareness and ignorance into knowledge. Lessons 1 through 6 or 1 through 7, in case you are considering remarriage, give you the essential knowledge that you never received as a younger person. You can start learning any day, like today. Get educated. Encourage other family members to get educated. You come from a dysfunctional, ignorant family. They're not bad people. They're wounded and unaware. Invite them, rather than demand, lecture, hint, plead, invite them to get educated, check themselves for a moment, and then let go. You are not responsible for fixing your family. They are. <clears throat> These two powerful options over time will, I guarantee it, reduce the stress between divorcing ex-mates and their kids and their relatives and for extra measure if you have energy left over and the motivation to do it let other people know about what you're learning in this video and in the nonprofit Break the Cycle website I hope you find this information clear provocative believable more than anything I hope you find it motivational Heal your wounds, have compassion for your ex-mate, help your kids avoid inheriting the wounds plus ignorance inheritance cycle. Thanks for watching.